Spencer's the one that gave up on me. I don't blame him. I mean, I made mistake after mistake. I, I betrayed him in all of the worst ways. I'll say. He slept with his girlfriend. But you are still his father. Doesn't matter. No. Spencer looks at me. He sees a cautionary tale. I'm not the kind of man that he wants to be. In his eyes, the only way to prevent that is to sever all ties. I don't even think he's wrong. But I have a responsibility to my unborn child to rectify the mistakes of my past, to give my baby, the unborn baby, the life that I could never give Spencer. What about your responsibility to Spencer? You keep talking and focusing on this unborn baby. Have you just given up your relationship with Spencer, the son you already have? Spencer's a grown man. He's made his decision. Of course, I'm going to be here for him if he changes his mind and he wants a relationship with me. And meanwhile, you get a do-over with this unborn baby? No, that's not how it works. And what are you going to do when the baby grows up and wants to know where his brother is? You're going to say, I gave up on him? You don't get to do that. A parent takes care of all of their children. That's your job. It might be impossible sometimes, but that's your job, Nicholas. I hear you. Right now, I can't do anything for Spencer, so I'm gonna do everything I can for my unborn baby, and that includes protecting it from Esme. She's dangerous. Can you, can you honestly say that it's in that child's best interest to have Esme Prince in its life? I love this baby, and I want to do right by it. I will find you another attorney that can handle difficult custody cases. Thank you. Thank me by taking my advice. Do not give up on Spencer.